Hello guys, kamusta kayong lahat? At welcome back dito sa My Art Life. And for today's episode is an update dun sa previous episode natin which is about yung Miyahimi gouache paints. Yung first episode natin about Miyahimi is I tried it out so bumili ako ng konting colors lang and natuwa ako sobra so bumili ako ng full 18 color set. Pero hindi pa pala natatapos yun dun dahil meron pang ibang kulay at ang dami pa nila. So today, isi-share ko sa inyo yung mga bagong kulay na nabili ko and uh, I'm as excited as you are. So let's go ahead and let's get things started. <coughs> Okay, so ito na yung 28 colors na iso-swatch natin today. Pero bago ako magsimula, um, i just like to let you know na meron ng labels yung each jelly cup. Ako yun ay naglagay niyan para mas madaling ma-identify yung English name for each color. Nabili ko nga pala itong mga to sa Shopee and yung seller is si Fantastic Bean. Although meron na ibang seller ngayon and it's 50 pesos per color. Alright, now we can start with our swatching. And sisimula natin dito sa set na to. Uh, dito pinagsama-sama ko lahat ng mga brown colors. And uh, ito yung gagawin kong set for skin tones. So, unahin natin itong nude color. Para sa akin, napaka-importante ng kulay nito. Kasi nga, mahilig ako mag-drawing ng anime. So, I always draw characters. And it's a good thing na lagi kang merong ready-to-use na skin tone color. I really recommend having this color included in your set. And next is this light tan color na medyo nasa yellow side. So, um, this can still be used for skin tones as well. Pero medyo siguro hahalo ang ko siya for a different shade of skin tone. And I think this color works best kung gagamitin nyo siya for Asian skin tones. Next color naman is this olive brown and medyo interesting yung name niya kasi diba olive is more on the green side tapos it's brown and it would still be good for skin tone as well as this one. Um, this coffee color is more on like coffee and cream kasi ang alam kong kulay ng coffee is more on parang dark reddish brown and this would be perfect for darker skin tones. Yung shade na to, reddish brown siya pero mukha siyang uh, yun, magnolia chocolate. And now let's hop on to the next set of colors and these are more on the pinks. Uh, pero may kasama siyang isang gray doon. At habang binubuksan ko tong set na to, um, just a tip pala, pag bibili kayo, buy by fours. So, tiga-apat para may kasama siyang lalagyan na tulad nito. Alright, so balik na tayo with our swatching. And unahin na natin tong first color which is named UK. And I think that's a very unique name for a color. And I don't know why it's pink uh, for UK. Pero it's a very very bright pink. And uh, maganda to kung mahilig ka sa florals. And I'm sure pag ginamit nyo to sa illustration nyo, the color will really pop up. Kasi sobrang ganda nung um, shade niya. And it's fluorescent in a way. So for our next color, ito ipapakita ko sa inyo side by side. This is the UK and this is the pink. So itong pink is more on mas magenta yung, yung shade ng kulay niya. And uh, it's more of a Barbie pink. And it's equally bright and vibrant as the UK. Magkaiba nga lang sila ng shade ng color. Pero again, if you are into florals or if you like drawings or illustrations that pop out color uh, these are perfect colors for you so next is this light princess and uh, very different to dun sa dalawang na unang pink this one is parang old rose yung dating nung kulay niya another note is that para siyang skin tone din and uh, i think i'm going to try using this for skin tone and let's see so the last one for this set is itong gray and alam niyo ba it's very important to have gray in your color set kasi gray actually expands the the range of colors that you currently have kasi it changes the tone of each color all right so now let's move on to the next set ito namang set na to ang tawag ko dito tropical sunset kasi yung magkakasama ang kulay nito it's more on the reds yellows and green so di ba para siyang 
sunset on a tropical island. So let's start with this medium yellow. Isa to sa mga favorite colors ko sa set na to kasi nga yung pagka yellow niya, it's bright and vibrant pero it's a deeper shade of yellow. It's very flat and opaque and dito pa lang talaga it gives you that sunset vibe. So our next color is this oriental red. Tita niyo naman pagbukas pa lang from the packaging pa lang. Sobrang bright na nung red na to. Galit na galit talaga. I guess we can also call this, you know, the Chinese red na tinatawag nila because of this bright, vivid red color. Next one naman is itong salmon pink. And alam ko, you, you got the same impression as I had nung nakita ko tong kulay na to. Dahil hindi siya pink, diba? Orange siya. I checked online yung mga pictures sa mga sushi at sashimi. And salmon is kinda orange nga. Last color for this set is itong turquoise. And uh, medyo off para sa akin yung pagka-green nito. And uh, hindi siya ganun ka-opaque tulad ng ibang kulay. Alright, so let's hop on to the next set of colors. And ito naman ang tawag ko dito sa set na to is the sky set. Kasi puro sa shades of blue. Ang first color natin para sa set na to is itong powder blue. And as you can see here, it's a very faint shade of blue. Uh, almost delicate kung tutuusin. And uh, I think mas maganda tong gamitin when drawing clouds. Kasi ba minsan yung clouds may mga shadow siya. Hindi naman siya totally white. And this would be a perfect fit for that. Next color naman natin is itong spearmint. And actually, isa to sa mga favorite colors ko sa set na to dahil Kakaiba yung shade nung, nung kulay niya. Para siyang blue na green. Hindi mo maintindihan. And uh, it's perfect to be used in either a skyscape or a seascape or any water type illustration. And I personally think this is a very versatile color. And our next color is Cloud Penina. And actually, hindi ko maintindihan yung way nung pag name ng Miyahimi sa mga colors na because it's very unique and actually it's named Cloud Penina pero parang mint green yung color niya and Penina is actually a biblical name so if you look it up it will direct you to like a, a story in the Bible when you uh, try to search for Penina Our next color is pretty much straightforward sky blue but this is more on the lighter or, or pastel uh, shade of blue. It's almost like a, a, a dusty shade of blue. And actually, kahit na dito palang at sina swatch palang sa, pero na imagine ko na yung clouds dun sa sky. And now let's move on to our next set of colors. And these are more on yellows and greens. And uh, papakita ko sa inyo dyan in a bit. And for our first color, and I very much agree with the name, so it's cheese. And may hita nyo naman yung kulay niya talagang cheese na cheese and parang ang sarap niyang kainin. Pero may isa pang nagre-remind sa akin ng color na to, it's more on Pikachu. Gusto ko siyang palitan ng name na Pikachu Yellow kaysa sa cheese. Next naman is this Arts Yellow. Maganda rin yung kulay nito pero it's kind of different kesa dun sa other yellow na sinwatch natin kanina this is a deep shade of yellow pero hindi siya ganun ka vibrant so medyo muted siya next color naman is itong arts green so para siyang chartreuse pero mas pale yung shade niya and um, it's almost pastel pero it kind of reminds me of avocado parang gusto ko ng avocado shade Our next color is this Arch Blue, and again, it's a unique name and also a very unique color. As you can see here, it's vibrant and it's like a bluish green color, but at the same time, it's like pastel. Din. Ito namang set na to, ang tako rito is the forest set, dahil puro to shades ng iba't ibang klase ng green.
Ang first color natin is itong jade green. And honestly, it's sa to sa mga kulay na hindi ko masyadong nagustuhan kasi alanganin yung pagka-green niya and at the same time, hindi maganda yung lapat niya sa paper as you can see here. And next one is this frequency green and again, it has a very unique name and a more unique color dahil pastel color siya pero it's on the fluorescent side naman. I think maganda tong gamitin pang highlights sa mga trees or sa mga leaves pag gumagawa ka ng mga floral artworks. Next color naman is itong Maldives. And para sa akin, mukha lang naman siyang regular green shade of color. Pero ang difference nga is brighter siya. And again, almost on the fluorescent side. Next naman is itong light green and uh, honestly nung pagbukas ko sa kanya, it looks very similar dun sa Maldives. You know, the normal green color din siya. Uh, ang difference lang niya is slightly uh, mas paler yung kulay niya. Hindi siya kasing vibrant or fluorescent as yung Maldives. Next is itong acid blue. It's pretty much the basic blue pero uh, very important siya. And because I think ito yung type ng blue na pwede mong i-mix with other colors so you will create new ones. And our next and last set is ito naman tinatawag ko na floral set dahil maganda tong set na ito na gamitin sa mga flower illustrations. And our first color for this set is this rose color. And actually, kasama to dun sa first set na binili ko at kung makikita nyo, halos maubos ko na siya and uh, natuyo na siya. So guys, if you experience this as well on your gouache paints or, or watercolor paints, normal lang yan na magbitak-bitak siya kapag ka natuyo. Uh, since water-soluble naman ang paint na to, so all you have to do is to add water and babalik siya sa dati niyang uh, state at pwede niyo na siyang gamitin pang paint at hindi nito naapektuhan yung quality ng paints as you use it para sa akin itong rose color na to is more on magenta siya and actually nagamit ko na siya with mixing with other colors and it works perfectly next color is pretty much the same with its name it's lilac and uh, as you can see here it's more on the pastel side Another thing na gusto ko sa color nito is napaka-delicate ng shade ng color niya and at the same time, nostalgic din. Next naman is this violet color and uh, this is pretty much the, you know, the usual basic violet that you get in any other paint set. Although, uh, I'm not sure bakit dito sa camera ko, it looks more like purple. Pero if you see it in person, it's, you know, violet with a bluish shade. Next color is, again, another one with a unique name. Uh, I think it's Aegean or Aegean Sea. Hindi <laughs> ko sure. Pero kahit paano man sabihin, and it still has a very uh, unique color as well as its name. And it's more of a pale uh, violet. And this would really make floral illustrations look so delicate all right and that's it for today's video actually and alam niyo ba sa sobrang dami ng kulay nawala na ako ng pang describe dun sa iba and sobrang speechless ako sa ganda ng mga shades and unique din di ba do you agree ang dami ko rin naging favorite colors dito uh, mostly yung mga fluorescent at yung mga pastel ones kasi yun yung mga kulay na usually hindi niyo makukuha sa, you know, the regular sets ng gouache or watercolors. Pero, uh, how about kayo? Uh, meron ba kayo naging favorite color sa pagsaswatch natin today? Huwag nyo kalimutan mag-leave ng comment para malaman natin kung ano yung pinakamagandang color dito sa set na to. Alright? And sana nakatulong tong video para kung bibili kayo ng Miyahimi colors, eh, alam nyo na kung ano yung mga magagandang kulay na kukunin nyo. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And uh, again, Take care and stay safe, okay?